I think this is so tactical. It makes me feel like I'm part of the Expendables. Stallone should get me for part five. It's about old people firing guns anyway. Welcome to the vlog. Hi Vijay. <laughs> Look at him. Matching Air Max 90. With green t-shirt. SB Glides. Part 2 of my attempt of buying a watch. This time I got two people for moral support. Two people will say no. Buy a G-Shock. <laughs> Are you? Same amount. Cheers, bro. Thanks for dissuading me from buying the watch. For nothing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Yes. Adding coffee. No, adding sugar. Hey guys, welcome back. This time it's not a sneaker unboxing but a watch unboxing. Now if you've seen my earlier vlogs, I had gone watch shopping about a couple of months ago. But I didn't really pick the one that I wanted which was the Tudor Black Bay 58. But yesterday, I realized that hey, it's exactly six months since I came to Dubai. Today, as I record this, is the 30th. Yesterday was the 29th. And I wanted to get myself something that marked the six months in Dubai. And which is why I got myself a watch. Now, of course, you see my wrist is bare. And that's because my Omega Seamaster has gone in for service. And service usually takes about six to seven weeks, as well as a couple of weeks to evaluate what work needs to be done on the watch. Now my Omega wasn't keeping time, it was losing about 3-4 to four minutes on a weekly basis and the power reserve also wasn't up to the mark and I think I've had that since 2017 so it's been 6 years plus and high time to get it serviced I guess. My mistake, I should have gotten it serviced when it was still within warranty which is 5 years and that would probably have covered if there's any issues going on with the movement because it's all under warranty but hey, you live and learn, you live and learn. In the meanwhile, if this is the first time you're stopping by my channel, thank you, welcome and make sure to subscribe. I have content coming out every now and then and give this video a thumbs up as I pull out the box pull out. Mm. The Tudor box wrapped in that white paper. I picked this up from Ahmed Siddiqui and Sons. They are the guys who have the distributorship. And they threw in this hard case for travels to keep your watch in. I gotta say though, I actually went in to get the Black Bay 58 with a burgundy bezel. That's like a really nice watch. But somehow on my wrist, it didn't look that nice. I wasn't feeling it on my wrist because of course it looked a lot more bigger. It's the same watch as the one I picked up, but the 41 in the stainless steel wears a little bigger on your wrist. And I actually haven't measured my wrist. Uh, here's the invoice for the watch. And here is the box. Now I gotta tell you, it's a little disappointing with the box because I think my Tissot came with better packaging or a better box than this. The Omega, of course, came with this nice uh, wooden box. I don't think I did a video of the Omega, did I? I don't think I did. I digress. Uh, and when I was at the store, I also saw their 39mm Black Bay 58. That wore really nicely on my wrist and I actually loved it. It was very similar to my Omega and I think that's the reason I was drawn to it. Nonetheless, the guy at the store, man, shout out to Paras, who was at the Tudor store in the Dubai mall. He brought this watch out and he was like, try it. And I'm like, triple black is not really my thing, but let's give it a shot. I threw it on wrist and I gotta tell you, it was love at first sight. Okay, you lift the lid open and now you pull this out. And there you have more of that Tudor branding on the box. Looks like a Transformers logo, no? Like a Decepticon-ish kind of a vibe. I should be buying a new iPhone, but I'm out here buying everything else. Alrighty, here we go. I'm gonna lift this lid. Bam, there is the watch look at this beauty 
my gosh now needless to say or is it needed to be said my end goal watch is a rolex uh, submariner and i want to get it in the black with the date with the date function i just love that bubble i know purists don't love it that much and this watch for one doesn't come with the date function and i guess there's just two things i'm not a fan of let me get that out of the way when it comes to this watch one is that it doesn't come with the date function secondly the strap is a hybrid leather and rubber i would have preferred if it were just rubber or if it were just metal for that matter and those are the only two things that i'm not a big fan of when it comes to the black bay ceramic having said that the three reasons why i actually picked up this watch is a that this is meta certified i'll talk about it a little bit more as the video progresses it's also got a 70 hour reserve which means i can let it sit for two days three days and it's still show time and i wouldn't have to worry about it and thirdly it's because i'd never buy something like this i mean if you guys have been following my channel you know i don't even buy triple black sneakers so buying this was kind of a big deal uh, when it comes to my personal choices and preferences and that is the case back you can see it says tudor manufacturer caliber and the movement done again in all black a nice tungsten rotor the entire black area has some very subtle detailing like it's got these lines running through it this entire case is all ceramic of course there's some bits that have stainless steel i just realized another thing i'm not a fan of on this watch is that it doesn't have any ar coating on the glass so that is anti-reflective so this is your dome sapphire crystal glass and it reflects quite a bit you can also see the camera screen right there on this one although the insert is ceramic the bezel in itself is steel and the second thing is this case back right here that is steel as well and finally you have your tudor screw down crown which is also steel but then the rest of it is all ceramic and I hear ceramic cases are difficult to build because you need special equipment for it and that's the reason they don't make it in as wide a quantity as you would imagine but these are still available at authorized distributors unlike in the case of some other models like the burgundy bezel uh, black bay 58 which is also meta certified by the way and of course with that special equipment and building something that's not that easy to build there is a cost element uh, involved as well which takes the price higher up but then ceramic of course comes with its benefits for example it's lower in density than steel is therefore it's a lot more lighter and it is about four times uh, harder than steel therefore it doesn't scratch as easily now one of the things that also kept me away from the burgundy bezel uh, black bay 58 is that the burgundy bezel insert in itself was i think aluminium uh, or steel i can't really remember which would mean that it would scratch easily whereas on my seamaster the bezel insert was ceramic so this one is a ceramic bezel insert and i want something that i can wear every day and not really be worried about scratching up i could really thrash this around okay not as much as a g-shock but i could thrash this one around i would still look reasonably new when tudor made this watch i think it divided the marketplace people weren't expecting them to make an all ceramic and an all blacked out watch and this isn't the first time they made it they actually made one i think back in 1999 and that was for an auction that one went i think for about 350,000 euros but this is the first time it's gone into full production and a wider release with this watch i think tudor has really set the tone for what's going to happen going ahead this is in the same category as an Omega Seamaster so that also has an all ceramic casing but I think this one comes at a fraction of the price I didn't really check because I already have an Omega and I'll probably get a Rolex next if I ever get to it but this one looked like a worthy addition to my watch rotation you see this edge here that's been highly polished yeah you can see the light reflect off that edge so although it's fully matted out you have that one bevel that's highly polished on both sides you have your indices that are not done in white it's kind of like an off-white so it's not too contrasting and that's another nice touch when it comes to text on the dial you can barely see it but unlike the standard black bay 58 three lines this time they just have two lines master chronometer and black bay and you have the tudor branding done right there and there you have the tudor rose on the screw down crown of course another interesting detailing the hour hand is in a snowflake traditional snowflake design of the tudor 
and that carries on to the back of this hybrid belt now this is a mix of leather and rubber and you see the snowflake hand design done right there on the back and then of course you have this contrast stitching again it's not done in white it's done in beige so it doesn't really contrast too much and that's something i like about the watch as well the watch does come with an extra strap like you can see right here it's got that beige line running in the middle i personally am not a fan of nail straps so i'm gonna keep this one on or i might actually with time get a replacement rubber strap from the aftermarket because tudor doesn't make it i already checked at the distributor another thing that i think really drew me to the watch is the fact that when i put it on i didn't have to resize it i know it's adjustable and all of that stuff but when they brought it out and they put it on my wrist it was in the exact setting unlike the stainless steel ones uh, which were hanging off because obviously you can adjust the length with the links and all of that so when you close the strap you again see that two door signage and you have the text running through you see the strap papers down which is also a nice look and of course i got to talk to you guys about the meta certification now i'm not going to pretend like i am some big watch nerd or i have any of the information but before buying this watch i saw this watch about two months ago and i sat and did my research and i thought about it which cost me some money though because since the time i saw the watch and the day i bought it it's shot up by 400 dirhams uh, that's about 200 dollars uh, or something like that uh, so i paid the premium for having delayed my watch purchase but then again i wanted to make sure i did my research before picking it up now from what i hear cost was the earlier standard and metas is the new one and i think metas has been around since 2015 apart from the fact that this one has 70 hours reserve it also has a time variation of about zero to five seconds and with that comes magnetic resistance you can dive up to 200 meters as is the standard and i think they run all of these tests not just with the case but also without the case for the movement maybe not the uh, diving into the sea at 200 meters and another interesting thing is they do this at full power reserve and also at 30 percent so you know how well the watch functions on either ends of the spectrum when it comes to charging one more thing that i have to point out is that the case is a lot less chunkier than the earlier models because when i was in hong kong uh, in 2019 i remember trying on the black bay 58 and that one was super bulky this one actually wears really nicely on my wrist and i've shown you a picture of how the burgundy bezel uh, 58 looks on my wrist and now i'm going to slip this one on my wrist to show you what it looks like <laughs> no but uh, more seriously i'm going to show you how nicely this one wears i think it's a factor of being all black it wears a lot nicer on the wrist like you can see there the watch of course feels super light on the wrist and i think it looks really nice i for one am quite excited for one i have a watch my only other watch is right here is a g-shock that i wear to the gym which i don't go to quite often but the two months without the omega is going to give me enough time to wear this on my wrist and make me decide if this is going to be my primary watch or would the omega when it comes back from service continue to be my primary watch and this becomes my secondary and that's it guys that's it for this video thank you for staying with me for my six month celebration of my time here in dubai i'll see you guys in the next one you stay safe peace